Well, hello there, and welcome to the Ham Brothers Podcast. I am your humble host, Robert Brunell. With me, as always, is Anthony Kayas hey. and Matthew Shipway. But fuck the three of us. Today is all about our special guest, photographer Sergio Mendoza. <laughs> What's up, guys? Thank you, guys. Thank you for having me. Good. So, uh, we we actually went to high school together. All all uh, all of us at, yes, at different we did. different points in time. <laughs> but I I haven't seen you since since those days. How when, when did you start uh, getting into photography? Um, like really shooting. I started. I got a camera in uh, around tw- end of 2011, starting 2012. But I was always interested in it into like video and photography because of skating. Like oh, okay. It's all, it's a big part of that world. So it was it's always intertwined. So I was always just like really interested by it. Do you uh you still skate? No, I I have a board. <laughs> I tried bought one like last year and I fucked up my ankle. I was like, fuck this. Yeah, like, that sounds about right. work. Yeah, I think a lot of us a lot of us at that a- at this age we, that used to skate just have a board now. Yeah. yeah. Like nobody like nobody really skates anymore. They still like, got I'll, the board. I'll ride around, but, right. I'm trying to fuck myself up. Right. Yeah, I fall over just fucking getting out of bed. <laughs> and it hurts. Yeah, I had fucking vertigo for like a few days. It was really weird. Just like we're just randomly. I think I had like an ear infection probably, but uh, uh, like every time I was getting up out of bed, dude, it was like I was legit just falling falling out of fucking right. bed dizzy. It's crazy. Oh yeah, I think I remember you saying that a while ago. Yeah, it's fr- it's uh, not fun. It's pretty fucking annoying. Sounds right. like a good reason to just stay in bed. Right. No, you still spit. You, you, you feel like awake. Spins. Yeah. Mm. Oh fuck. That's yeah, it's that's not, not good. Fun. When you're not fucked up and spinning, it's definitely right. not not fun. Did you at go all. to the doctor? <laughs> no, of course not. The fuck? Who's that? <laughs> What's a doctor? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, dude. That's my my standpoint's always been. I was like, you know, you d- you can't get diagnosed with anything if you never. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you never actually go to the doctor. Doesn't count. So, dude, you brought us this awesome uh, photo that you. Yeah, it's something I took uh, uh, not too long ago. Nice. So who's the uh, who's model the, in there? The lovely uh, it's this model, Teresa, some girl that I work with uh, quite a bit. Man, yeah. that almost looks like um, uh, like a painting, almost. Oh thank yeah, you, thank the, you. The background. It's a little there. something for you guys, you know. Well, yeah. Thank you very oh much, yeah, dude. We're gonna it. add it. We're gonna add it to our studio right now. Where? Uh, right there. Uh, where where is uh where is that at? Where'd you shoot that at? Um, that's in uh, Placentia. Placentia, in okay. Orange County. Nice. Nice. Now, what what was the shoot for? Was it as was it for anything specific? Or? Um, where did we come from? Oh, I was actually shooting at a studio earlier before that down in like Anaheim or something. Uh huh. And we we're like, we still had time, so I was like, fuck it, let's go check out this other spot that I have. And right. So we just went right there to do some more. Do okay, some more so shots. it was just like a random, yeah, like a random shoot. Like, oh, yeah, all right. like we're close by, so I was like, right. I'll go check it out. I, so it was my first time there too, so oh, okay, that's why. Oh yeah. Uh, so like, what, what are what are the majority of your shoots for? Like, is there a specific like specific, specific thing for them? Like, um, uh, you know, magazines or like um, uh, just the the models profile or it it, it it all varies, but yeah, like I try to shoot some for magazines or like to. Um, throw take s- for submissions. Right. To try to get into a magazine or uh, try to do paid shoots for just whatever whoever whatever client want whatever they right. want. Right. Um, and then I'll shoot stuff for myself or or even if like model hit me up to shoot or whatever. Right. But usually like if that's the case and like I want them to have like a like an idea like something to bring to the table. Right, you don't you don't want to do all the work. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Um, yeah. So uh, I mean, are are because you do a lot of uh, female models, right? Obviously. Yeah. Right? yeah. And that's yeah. Uh, are majority. Do, so the the paid ones are those more of like the the chicks that have maybe like have like a Patreon type of thing where like yeah, like they wha- if they're if they're trying to make money off of it. Right. Because I mean, if they're gonna make money, I mean, I right. gotta make something. Right. You get you get a little little taste. I bet you have some very high quality dick pics too. <laughs> That's what I always thought about photographers. I'm like, these must be immaculate shots. I like got the, the background, right angles, I got the fucking backgrounds blurred. I got, I got flowers on it and shit. I can see that. I can see every piece of stubble. It's artistic. 
That's a, that's a, that is <laughs> an amazing dick pic. Yeah, that'd be that'd be interesting if if uh, if a woman was just like, wow, you know, I'm not really impressed with this dick, but this that's fucking nice photograph picture, is right? amazing. I, w- I want this guy to shoot me. That's there's only one way. Dick pics only. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> you're like, you hey, hey I'd like to send you a dick pic, but the file size is too big. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have Dropbox? That's how We're that's how Google big drive. this file size is. It's gonna come in threes. I want you to print it out, spread it all over the table. <laughs> Composite shot. It's a landscape. Do you still film any skateboarding? No, never. No, not really. It's been a f- while. At yeah, least a few years. I think like. 2013, 2012. What is this we got right here? You uh, that's key? my camera that I'm using now. Which one is that? It's a Canon 60 using it with a Sigma uh, 35 millimeter. It's hilarious that we're shooting this for YouTube with like the cheapest fucking cameras you can get on <laughs> Amazon <laughs> while this sits <laughs> sits uh, on the I, table just I off. I started thinking about that as soon as he got out of the car and I saw it in his hand. I was like, oh, God damn it. I He's going to see our problem, camera. Like, it's going to be yeah. like, oh, what is this shit? Like, I, I, mean, I, I, had the same, I started with the same thing. Right. <laughs> like I bought one of the like one of your guys' cameras like that. And I, s- I bought that like a fucking month later. Because right. I was like, fuck, I can't do much with right. this. Right, yeah, exactly. Like, There's like no I was options. limited to what I wanted to do. Right, like we were saying, we, I couldn't even I can't even change the frame rate on yeah. the thing. Like, There's no options. It's all, do you want HD or full HD? And that's pretty much <laughs> about it. That's all you got. Yeah, that, my, mine has like a streaming option that's even higher. Oh, okay. I don't know what, uh, I don't even know it went higher than 780 or whatever it is. 1280. Yeah, 1280? Yeah, yeah, like the 4K. I guess it's, f- it's for streaming, I guess. I don't know. We'll have to see if maybe we can stream. Yeah, you could get up to your computer. Yeah, man, that's such a deep world too. Like, because uh, they're so accessible. Like cameras, oh, you, you know. Definitely, there's, there's like ev- I started with a beginner one. Like right after I got after I got from those little digi cams, I bought a. It was a Canon T two I. It was like a few hundred, but like six hundred, seven hundred bucks or whatever. And that's like the starter ones, and it was good for. For me, at the time, I used it for like a long time too, like till a couple of years ago. I finally sold it. What What year was it about that they started actually being able to shoot video with with these with the? Um, is it at least two thousand nine, two thousand eight? No, even before that, like I think maybe between two thousand seven and two thousand nine. We might have when to started like that high quality. Find some fucking used like eBay's used. Oh, stuff, you can yeah. get something for. For che- even like the newer ones, you can get something for cheap, maybe a couple hundred bucks. Right. Yeah, because I was reading about camera. like s- um, slaving the cameras to each other or whatever. You you just make one and they're just synced to a time code, so right. that you yeah, know they run run as one. But we can't do that with our fucking pieces no. of shit we bought. No. <laughs> we can't. I, we probably start somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Again, it's all s- it's all experimentation. We're all exactly. trying, to, trying to figure this shit out. That's b- what, do you want, what do you want us to do, people? We're yeah. trying. And and for the people that don't know that are listening to this, yes, we are trying to get on YouTube. Yes, we have a YouTube channel. Same thing, Ham Brothers Podcast. Uh, so yeah. subscribe, damn it. Yeah. So we yeah, were subscribe. We were just saying there's like another channel, and it's like the name Ham Bros, and they're like four 11 year olds but they have more <laughs> fucking subscribers than we do we can take them we gotta take them down <laughs> i don't want to have to fight them i just we will i no, will take, take them down virtually come at us ham bros <laughs> you know where we're at california buddy come on come get it where, where were they from weren't they like canada or, something? or, or like the midwest hey. or some shit they were white ki- little white kids yeah <laughs> <laughs> No, Don't we're be watching their channel. You just <laughs> give them more views. views. <laughs> yeah, come on. no, no. It's just they have their little uh, the logo, you know, yeah. picture for their channel. Right. I didn't actually see what their videos were uh, were about. Oh no, I I, l- I saw like the thumbnails. You know, it's probably like the same exact topics as we have. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably <laughs> literally <laughs> brothers, and their last name is Ham. <laughs> that, that would be fucking hilarious. There is there the is ranch. a there is a Ham Bros Electric. Um, oh no! It's just it's just Ham, but the la- the dude's last name is Ham. Yeah, right. Yeah, I saw. I had seen it when when I worked at the hospital. They Fuck! Were are we gonna get sued by John Ham? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got two M's. Yeah, we only got one. Okay. Does he have I, brothers? I, I, yeah, I don't know. Does we he have, have any to siblings. Look into that. We gotta find out. <laughs> <laughs> they probably have the get the Ham right. brothers on the Ham brothers. Oh my God! I'd love to have John Ham in here. <laughs> <He's> so meta. <laughs> That'd be amazing. 
Be like a double ham sandwich. Yeah, hamception. <laughs> hamception for sure. <laughs> a ham within a ham. <laughs> Dude, we, with like big television sh- shows, are they shooting that shit with these? They're not. They gotta be shooting them with those oh, big no. old giant cameras, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, for sure. I have a home. I have a friend who works in the in the film industry, and he's. They're still using like a lot of film for for actual of like yeah, a- analog for, film, for, right? Yeah. yeah. It's cr- yeah, I was, telling, I was like, what? I was like, s- surprised. Like, you guys ain't using digital? Yeah. But it's like, I guess to get that feel still. Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of directors have their own preference towards that. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah didn't uh, Tarantino, oh, <laughs> shout out to Esmeralda, didn't Tarantino <laughs> shoot that uh, Hateful Eight on uh, some kind of... Uh, 35. Yeah. 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 Shot on 35. It's yeah. the same millimeter. But, the, but, but I think that. there were only certain theaters that were playing it in the 35 like print. Yeah. Like... Most of them were were the digital prints. Guys, do you have food in here right now? No, I did make a pork overnight. Yeah, though. it fucking smells like food. I was like, dude, it's oh, like sorry. food in here. Is it the couch? <laughs> Get ready for the hand, brothers, because it's pork. Yeah, sorry. I uh, made a Cuban Cuban style pork. It's gonna shred yeah, it up. Yeah. Cool. Sir, I get to just smell it for an hour. That's so fun. <laughs> yeah. You will what a never, privilege. You will never enjoy it. No. I actually, <laughs> ma- I, I don't made want it. That, and then I have a uh, butternut squash. Mac and cheese. Yeah, you know, I'll add some more right nut now. to your butternut <laughs> squash, buddy. Yeah. All right, it's pretty goddamn good. I'm not gonna lie. I tried it like as I was making it. Like I, I gave it a little taste. I was like, oh, you oh, got fuck. it. I was like, I <laughs> fucked up. I was like, this is, <laughs> I fucked up. This is this is too good. I don't want any of your devil food. Good, you can't have any. Good, I don't want it. Sergio can have some. I'll no, send Sergio home with a plate. Whatever. No. <laughs> I don't think I'll make it home. But you still living in uh in Chino? Chino yeah. 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 Still right down the street from like Lugo. Oh Don. Man, I drive by there all the time. I was like fucking memories. Yeah. Fun. It looks way fucking nicer now. Yeah, like, what the fuck? So you built a stadium. We didn't yeah, have no shit. Stadium. They got the, the, the fucking covers yeah, on they the, got the parking lot. Those all solar panels and shit. Yeah. They're all fucking progressive. Yeah. I know, dude. They, 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 I think they waited until we left <laughs> to start. I swear to God, the next year was when construction started. Get rid they of were these all troublemakers. Right. <laughs> oh, all these idiots are gone now. We can get federal funding. <laughs> we, our, our collective IQs being removed from the pool raised the <laughs> average of the fucking school yeah. to where they got more money, probably. <clears throat> yeah, it's just are you saying we were dragging down the school? Oh, fuck yeah, we I were. Mean, speakers it wasn't me, yeah, man, specifically. I, I, I got yeah. some... I got some pretty good grades. I was in honors classes. I don't know what you're talking about. No, you weren't. I absolutely was. Prove it. Get your transcript. <laughs> One you were in baby next, making next classes. Next week, we want to see it. Hey, man, I, you know, I graduated with like a 3.0. I'm not, I'm not a slouch, but I'm just I saying. I mean, I graduated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? I have a fucking diploma, so how, how about that? Yeah, there are people that don't. So quite man, a I left school. So. <laughs> I went to BV, yeah. Yeah. I took off after like tenth grade. Fuck. Yeah, it's Fuck it. Went downhill. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was alright. It was all right. This is crazy. Yeah, it was just a crazy school. It's it was oh, just yeah, like I, a lot I, worse. I never. I mean, I never was there. Obviously, I never even visited it before. But I just heard countless stories all the yeah, time. Yeah, it was pretty about bad. About how just just wild west <laughs> essentially. Smoking weed in class. Right. <laughs> fools doing meth and fucking who knows what else. Oh Jesus! Christ. Pretty fucking in class, like, right? It was fucking crazy. The teachers just like fuck it. Yeah. The line so on one day we were sitting in class in math class, and we sat in a circle, and we were just chilling, and then we just started smoking, and then just breathing into our sweaters. Right. The fucking teacher walks up, and he's all, "It smells like marijuana." <laughs> Turns around, walks away, and laughs. <laughs> and that was it. We were just like, what the fuck were, just were the, happened? Were, were the teachers even actually trying to teach at, a, at any a point? A couple, like, but mean, not many. They right. were just like, it was super laid back. Right. It was like, you're already high. Yelling at you isn't going to make you yeah, run high. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> I, I, was, I was saying before, like, y- you, you know you're starting to get old when people in high school start to look like fucking children to you. <laughs> right? They look like little kids. Oh, yeah. And to think about the shit that, you know, we did and they still do, you're like, Jesus. No, oh, what? Uh, no one was watching me. Nobody was doing. <laughs> nobody was know. was following my patterns of behavior. No. I, and then I, sometimes I think like I'm like, were were we that annoying? And I'm like, probably. probably but sure. we, but we thought we, we were the shit at the oh, time. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. What are you talking right. about? <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't think that like I don't know. 
I'd like to assume that the de- the degree of annoyingness that that they that they're that the kids are now is not what we what I don't we were, think you know? so. Like, at least in in the things that they're doing, the way that they're acting, like we were annoying in our own way because we were just little assholes. Well, we were definitely annoying people a lot less than than kids are nowadays because oh, we didn't have social media, sure. we didn't have Instagram, we didn't have any of that shit. No, we were doing other things like vandalizing property. Yeah. And shit. <laughs> yeah, we were like you wanted to get your name the out there, you had to spray paint it on the side of a house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah w- well, yeah, we were annoying people just in a different way. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like in a way that cost money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Throwing things from moving vehicles. Right. Have I ever have I ever told on the podcast that there's a, I don't know if I've ever told the story. I apologize if I have, but when I was in high school in my sophomore year, uh, I had a girlfriend who was a virgin, and she told me she wanted to have sex. And I was very very excited about that, right? So she tells me at fucking school she wants to have sex for the first time, and we have nowhere to go, right? We're like, where are we gonna? Can't go to my house. Can't go to your house. We're gonna oh. fuck in the park, right? Can't figure it out. She goes, I know, let's go to my friend's house. <laughs> she always leaves the door unlocked. Her her mom <laughs> is like a, a nurse or something. And, you know, she leave, you know, leaves the door unlocked. We can just go in there. And I was like, sold, done. So we go over to this chick's house, go into her house, fuck in her bed, in her friend's bed. Literally right when I'm finishing, this chick's mom's pull, mom pulls up in the driveway. Fuck. <laughs> right? So I'm like, oh, fuck. I got out onto the roof, and I was like, nope. <laughs> like, nope. I could, and I, this woman knew me. She knew my car. Oh, shit. Right? And so she's like, she comes in, and she starts calling her daughter's name, like, thinking that her daughter is here. She's like, hello? Where, are, where is it? And, like, f- we're f- I'm trapped. So we have to come down the stairs, right? <laughs> and uh, she's like, what the fuck are you doing in my house? Like, blah, blah, blah. And the chick I was with just starts lying. Well, we were going to meet her here, and she was upset, and we didn't see. And then the, the, the chick's mom was like, shut up. Right. Shut up. Sh- you shut up. And then she points at me. She goes, you, what are you doing in my house? I was like, I came here to have sex. <laughs> and she's like, okay, why my house? I was like, you leave it unlocked. <laughs> and she goes, what she do you expect? <laughs> she takes a bead, and she goes, okay. She's like, you, you told me the truth. You're welcome in my house again. But you... You're a lying whore. <laughs> I never want you in here ever again. And she's like, yes. no. <laughs> oh, my God. And the kicker to that fucking story is that I was sure this woman was going to call my dad. Oh, fuck. Right? So I was like, I got to get ahead of the game on this and tell my dad what happened. Right? So my dad's fuck. like, I remember so vividly sitting there on the fucking computer. And I'm like, uh, hey, dad, you, you got a second? And he just sat back. What, what did you do? <laughs> and I, I told him the story, and the whole time, he's kind of doing that thing where he's like, try not to, to not to laugh, <laughs> right, for right, sure. and be angry. He's like, dude, what you did is a felony. You know, you broke right. it and enter. You know, that's you could just seriously go to jail for that. That's very stupid. But he was, you know, he was proud of me for we getting laid. But long story short is that was the only time I had sex with that chick, <laughs> just that one time. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was a bad idea all around. I don't know if it was my. I'm pretty sure it was your idea though. Pretty sure it was your idea. I didn't even. Yeah, I'm guaranteed. I, I didn't know that chick's house was unlocked. So, but she she paid the price. She was banned from that house. <laughs> going, uh, Lying whore. From going, going. I wonder how long the ban actually lasts, though. Like, oh, I don't know. To this Here. day. <laughs> oh, we're all adults with kids and such now. You should just show up to the house and just walk in. See what happens. <laughs> if they still, still live unlocked. there. <laughs> still unlocked. <laughs> man, you didn't learn that lesson in 2000, nope. did you? Oh man. That's wild. Yeah, yeah. I was telling that story at at uh, stand up a couple times, and the first time I told it, I was drunk and it killed. <laughs> and then the second time, I was way too drunk and kept forgetting parts of the story <laughs> and what goes where. Yeah, uh, and then I that was the last time I did stand up, <laughs> 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 and I never did it again. Oh, uh, you can always come back. I yeah I suppose I could I've been pondering it I've been writing just writing material and stockpiling it I have a nice uh, folder on my phone of just premises and jokes that I I could possibly work out Matt was so mad that we won't take him to open mics that I feel like I want to just start going to open mics by myself to uh, spite you go for it (laughs) I'm gonna tag you be like, yeah, do the open mic tonight. Wish you were here. <laughs> Shout out to Matt. No. That, I would. 
Do it. Do it. <laughs> just do it. I want to see what happens. Just do it. No, I won't because I'm lazy. I don't want to go to fuck it. <laughs> I don't want to go out to buy two things just to go up there for three minutes. Well, you don't usually have to buy the drinks if you're. It depends where you're at. Yeah, yeah sometimes there's like a two in drink. The, in, the, in LA, right. in the law, you got to pay. Yep. That was on that. Uh, <laughs> what's the show again on HBO? You like you go crashing on crashing? You like when so yeah. So dude, uh, what what are you working on right now? Um, fuck, I got a few shoots that like yesterday I did one. Uh, I did an outdoor. Did like some implied. Um, uh, in Carbon Canyon out in uh, Brea. Some what's implied. Yeah, what, yeah. What um, mean? like nude, like nude, but oh, not nude. Like okay. not really showing oh, anything. Implied nudity. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Oh. So, yeah, it kind of s- didn't go as good because the fucking, the spots that I wanted to go to, all the trails were closed, so I was kind of uh. limited in the areas that I wanted that I to shoot in. Right. So I was like, fuck. Like, so, what, like hiking trails? Like, you gotta, you well, it was bust like, a mission to freaking find these yeah, spots? Yeah, like it was all flooded out because of the rains. Oh, really. right, right. And so, like, some of the trails were all flooded, and I couldn't get to... Like some of the spots, like the nature spots that I wanted to do, and right. then there was like a dam that I was gonna hit too, but that main trail was closed off, so I couldn't right. hit none of it. Uh, so I just made do with whatever <coughs> was around there. What a crazy power the camera is that you could get a young lady to go out into the wilderness and partially <laughs> disrobe, <laughs> be like, yeah, you know what? We're not far enough in. <laughs> like we got we got to get further into the forest. This well, isn't it's isolated. Usu- it's enough. usually their idea, right? Like yeah. they're, they're coming to you, so yeah. it's like <laughs> you know what? Here, Most of them. I'm gonna stand right. right here. You stand about thirty feet away and scream, and I want to see if I can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I can't, you found the spot, and I'll be right there. Call me when you get th- when I. <laughs> I'll call you when I can't hear you Send screaming. Smoke signal. I'll meet right. you there. <laughs> I always thought, yeah, man. I've I've known a few uh, photographers in my ni- in my day, and it's uh, it's pretty incredible. It's pretty. I mean, uh, I mean, a lot of uh, you know, young models are very willing to get naked. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Sex sells, man. Well, that, it does. I mean, well, how much would you have to? How much would I have to pay Sergio here for a a, a nude Kai's shoot? I don't know, whatever he charges. I mean, but you. Whatever, 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 whatever he's willing to charge. Well, probably, to, hopefully to more for you, but I mean, <laughs> what about you? You personally, I mean, would you just what do it? What would I charge? Yeah, would what? you, d- or you, would you just do it for the artistic uh Rob's venture? saying that he wants to pay yeah, for you. Yeah, is that, that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's, let's cut a deal, Caius. <laughs> He just wants something to hang in his living room. Right. Yeah, all, all you got to do is ask. Cla- I mean, let's get a classy shot of you on, again, on really a bearskin. It depends on, <laughs> it depends on right where his going rate is, really. Just right yeah, behind us. You just have, have Kaius do like the George Costanza. Yeah. And his tidy whities Yes. <laughs> and then, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll sell prints. I'm sure people would want that. Put that yeah. on a shirt. Absolutely. There you go. Hell yeah, man. Now we're talking. Now we're talking business. You want to upgrade those cameras, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Sell those prints. Hey, man, if the internet has taught me anything, is that there's a market for just about everything. A, everything. A, a, yeah, I mean, there's there's somebody out there that's you're their exact. Uh, oh, for sure. Your oh, your yeah. beehole is He's like their bear. Ge- right. Exactly yeah. what? The, yeah, exactly. Probably not a lot of chicks, but you know, still, it doesn't uh, matter. Enough. And then we'll start selling your underwear, because that's <laughs> what chicks do. Uh, uh, that I understand. They do that uh, they after. Uh, I've, they seen, I've seen yeah, that. I've seen, I've seen a too. lot of requests. Like, uh, how about it, ladies? <laughs> Kai's only worked eight hours ten. yesterday. <laughs> ten hours. <laughs> ten hours. That's ten. it. They're nice. They're all, no, they're, they're neatly soiled. They're moist. <laughs> <laughs> they, they they went straight from body to plastic bag. On, only hint of vinegar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He'll take them straight off and mail them right I, to you. I, I guarantee <laughs> you no woman is going to buy those. For some it's extra money, you could, you could request for Kaisa to eat something specific before he <laughs> puts them on. <laughs> yeah, could you have some like curry? God. And, uh, <laughs> and then like maybe jog a little bit? <laughs> 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 oh. Just take a quick sprint Holy around the building Jesus. and then uh, oh. get, these, get these off to UPS. Oh, no. It's biohazard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shouldn't it be? Should I mean... I I just I oh mean after man. the curry yeah for yeah sure. absolutely no I mean even chicks doing that isn't that uh, shouldn't that be against the law like this I don't know I guess what's the worst they that do, happened they get do herpes that in maybe Japan. <laughs> yeah they sell 
fucking girl's panties in vending machines. Yeah. Yeah. Could you imagine if you got herpes from smelling some oh chick's God. panties that you got through the internet? You got the herpes. You got the herpes. You're like, wow, this was not worth it. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Oh, shit. What if some guys just collect those to frame? Oh, they, they just like I'm sure there is. I mean, they'd be yeah. pointless. You could just get any old pair of underwear and frame it. And dude, no, if if not, not not if it's a specific person. If they're oh in a, yeah, if they're true. in vending like machines, a jersey, like somebody's jersey. Yeah, exactly. Jersey. Yeah, you put, it's a nice little you know giant frame. Well, dude, it. if they're if they're in vending machines, I mean, I mean, I can't I can't imagine how many women are employed by wearing them. But I mean, all of them. Maybe they're only wearing them for a few seconds just well, to dude, keep did, the volume uh, up. Yeah. Don't you, did you watch uh, Did you watch Orange is the New Black? Yeah, they 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 did that that scheme in the oh, in yeah. the prison. Where oh they would yeah, just hand them hand out the panties. They would wear them for the day, and then they'd get them back at the end, collect and them, and ship them? them out. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, they were just selling panties. Hmm. They were, they was, uh, obviously it was a specific niche. It was prison ladies prisoner oh, panties. What the fuck? You know? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that, that that was the thing they were like all wearing like nice panties. <laughs> you know, usually they get like the big oh, giant yeah. like the granny ones or whatever. You know. So they would get I in. That's like, what they were buying. Yeah, they would smuggle in like the nice lace ones and shit, and wear them for a day, and then fucking get rid of them. Yeah, no, no, I want prison issue. This isn't health. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, I, I think I think that joke came up that there, there, there was one person that was ordering those specific ones. I don't know why I just thought of it. Matt, have you ever been in jail? God no. No. <laughs> no. Never been arrested. No. Oh, okay. I don't know why that. I just thought of West Valley for some reason. I, I was like, was "Hey, well, no, well, you and I, I know for sure. We well, both right. <laughs> we both been in at least once, but yeah. no, I'm a good Jewish boy. <laughs> Never been in trouble. Uh, well, I mean, I have, but oh no, you have. I got my Jewish lawyers to take care of all that. Well, yeah, you have a uh, have a car to get a DUI. Or no, wait, can you get one on a bike? Absolutely. Yeah, you can get one. How have you up? not gotten a bike UI yet? The bike UI. The BUI. A BUI. Because <laughs> I'm white and a good talker. Sometimes, because I respect authority. Do you uh, do you like swerving? No, you the, don't. With the <laughs> bike. The what? Do you have you ever caught yourself swerving on the bike? Oh yeah, I mean there's <laughs> there's been times where, like I'll literally get on the bike and just fall right over. <laughs> as soon as I get on, like I just try and pedal. It, this happened like one time, but I try I immediately try pedaling after I've been drinking. I get like maybe a foot and then just just like a move, just fall right over. That's adorable. In front yeah. of the bar, <laughs> it hurt, but you know, in front of like in front of a bar. No, usually leaving my house. Oh, trying to go to the store or something. Yeah, get to get drunk. more booze. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> get more bike tires. Right. <laughs> seems like that. What, dude? So it seems like when uh, when you you're actually riding a bike around, you you blow those things out like weekly. Tires? Oh yeah. Yeah. There's lots of sharp shit all over the place. Right? Yeah, I don't know. I, when, when I was riding my bike, I never went through as many tubes as you did. Dude, do you think I Matt, always did. Do you think Matt just lives in a, a glassier area? <laughs> um, maybe. I don't know. People throw more glass on the ground near your house. Probably. There's four, dude, dude, so many times I fucking look on the side of the road, and there's like a 12-pack sitting like at a stoplight, you know? And you're <laughs> oh like, yeah. who the fuck? <laughs> who was this? It was, time, it was some dude that had it in his car and drove by probably with his homie or something, and they pulled over mm-hmm. and just <laughs> dropped it off and got rid of it. Seems like a fucking risk to just stick them. I mean, what are you going to say to the cop when you're putting that on the curb? You're like, oh, no. Well, that's why you I haven't been do drinking in front of the <laughs> cops. Oh, well, yeah, obviously, but sometimes you don't see the cops. Right, that's true. So dangerous. So, so dangerous. dangerous. You should so take booking photos. I bet those are fun. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh, I need to get into the industry. Steady job. Yeah, <laughs> man. And get all artistic with it. You <laughs> drop <a little laughs> Could you get a backdrop with a it? Bit. You're all, yeah, yeah, okay. Can we get just oh, a little man. makeup here? Just a little, <laughs> little foundation <laughs> a little on him? Up. Cover up that bruise he's got because we don't need <laughs> the... Get that black eye. Yeah, we don't need the, anyone to know about that. There we go. Yeah, when I was in jail, I was surprised. It was a long time ago, but I was very surprised at how mean they were. <laughs> they were what? fucking really. The cops were mean. What? Could no. you believe? <laughs> Do you, would, no. would you believe that they're mean to you when they take you to jail? Absolutely. What gives them the right? I know, and it was really cold in there. You're the one going to jail, not them. <laughs> right. I know. One guy took all the toilet paper for a fucking. Uh, for a pillow. <laughs> what the fuck? And I was like, well, hope I don't have to <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's going to be awkward. Excuse me. 
Could I have some of your pillow, pie. please? So I can <laughs> shit right here in the open next to you. Yep. I think he seriously did it just to be like, nobody's shitting. Yeah. <laughs> nobody's <laughs> shitting while I'm here. Spare square. I, I, I didn't shit until like my the next day when I when I first when I went in. I was there for like two days, you know. But then like the booking obviously took from I went in at like two in the afternoon and didn't see a bed until three AM the next day. God damn. Yeah. I was I w- Dude, I was in a fucking drunk tank with uh, th- it was the same night as Nocturnal in B- oh, in San Bernardino, uh. so the drunk tank was full of people rolling on ecstasy that had gotten <laughs> rolled up at the fucking rave. <coughs> and like I remember one guy, like they're in like ridiculous shit too, yeah. like oh, yeah, like they're, they're in like crazy like you know fairy wings and shit like that in a tutu right. next to like the hardest essay I've ever fucking seen, right. like laying on fucking toilet paper, and then like my goofy ass. But I remember one guy fucking saying to the other one, he's like, oh, what time do you think they're going to let us out? And he's like, I don't know. It's probably not going to be until like seven. He's like, do you think the party will still be going? <laughs> I'm like, really, dude? Somewhere. You probably you probably just got rolled up for ecstasy. Like, you, I don't know if they, you know, is it is it the same where if you're just on it, they count that as possession? Yeah, it's it's still in your possession. Oh, At least they do in England. I know that's for sure. I don't know. I don't, know, but I don't know. Yeah, because I don't know if they just put you in there to sober up. And give you a ticket or something. Well, I mean, or not, you don't. I think you don't just under it. the influence. Yeah, right, yeah, right. You're, you're, it's under the influence for sure. But I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, do I, don't think they I don't think they can sure. get you for possession. No. Right. Right. You're possessing no. it. It's just possessed it's inside in your of your body. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, but I it's think not like it's shoved up your anal cavity or anything like you're I trying mean, to smuggle it. Might as well be. You know, you could do it that way. Right. That's when you really want to party. That's for that seven a.m. Express. You got that express ecstasy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> express ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> Suppository. Yeah. You're all no, the pill wasn't fast enough. No. no nope. 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 <laughs> I needed to shove it straight up my ass. <laughs> yeah, jail was cold and mean. I never wanted to go back. I guess that's the point. Yeah, that's usually well, leave I mean, this jail f- zero stars on Yelp. <laughs> I, dude, <laughs> I know. I should. Yeah, I should write a review of West Valley <laughs> Yelp, Yelp review. You know, the woman who took the fingerprints was nice, <laughs> but all the rest of the guards were kind of rude. <laughs> kept telling me what to do, where to go. I don't know why they're so angry. They're, they're not s- in jail. I know they were so mad. I was, I was like, I just want to go home. <laughs> 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 so, I was. I, I wanted to ask you, like, uh, a lot of the, the all the models that, that you work with and everything. Do you guys have some cor- some sort of like waiver or something in between you guys? Like, make them sign a waiver. Oh, I don't know. I you mean, you can, but I, no, I haven't. Uh, I haven't been using any uh, just recently, right? But you can um, because it can. If you want to sell prints and stuff, you have to have like a waiver from them, right? To be uh, able to like to physical sell. prints, or is that counted like with digital? Like, well, and to sell anything, like to with their image on it, right? Right. So you got to have their signature for that right these tits are copywritten exactly right well if if you <laughs> personally i still own it though. if you I personally want to sell it <laughs> yeah right exactly okay. or the, uh, but it, it goes either way so like once you sign a model release form they can do whatever they want with their picture right so like if they're using it for their patreon or they're making like whatever like shirts or a sweater or like any kind of merchandise right that way they can do whatever they want i can do whatever i want with mine do you think that the pa- Patreon is any way affecting sites like Suicide Girls or any of the other alternative modeling sites? Because you know, a lot, I've seen a lot of people going from from Suicide Girls to Patreon and working exclusively through there. I would think so a little bit, right? But well, it makes probably a little bit more sense because you probably make more money for yourself. Yeah, you're for representing sure. Yourself. Because yeah. it's going more direct yeah. to you. Even though they still have to pay like a percentage mm-hmm. to, to Patreon. Yeah, right. to Patreon. Because yeah. I was at the girl that I shot yesterday. She does a Patreon or she just started one. And I was asking her about it because I was interested in maybe doing one too. Because right. I know like a lot of photographers have been doing that too now. Like they're selling their photographs and stuff on right. there and just Wait. to bring in more revenue. Yeah. It's, fucking cr- it's fucking crazy. It's like well, Patreon originally, as far as I was aware of, started as a way of like, okay, you have a podcast, or I do these videos, right? If you want to, uh, I don't put uh, uh, sponsors on the show, right? So, uh, 
if you want to sponsor us, you know, if you want to promote to the podcast, out, yeah. uh, donate to the Patreon, right? right? I, I assume that's what it, how it started. Yeah, to get it, like exclusive content too. Like. Yeah, right. Now, yeah, yeah. Now, I see people that aren't making a fucking product at all. They're not. They don't. They, they don't do anything. They just have a fucking Patreon. Like uh, they have a certain amount of followers, and they're and they're like they, seriously. I see people's tweets like, "Hey, I'm a little short on fucking rent this month. You know, hit up my Patreon." Yeah. For what? What the right. fuck? Why? <laughs> and then, but people do, and I'm like, this future is just gonna be all of these kids paying each other in a fucking circle on Patreon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's like, who's? Who, does anyone have a fucking job? Who's paying everyone <laughs> else to live? Right. It's like if you have a fucking service or a fucking product, I get it. Like, especially when you're entertainment based, it's like, look, it's hard for us to get money for this, and I don't want to corrupt it with s- sponsorships. I want to keep it the way it is. Right. So if you, you know, by, you know, sending us some money to keep it that way, you know, you're ensuring that the product stays the same. You know, our the, what we're putting out stays the same. That's one thing. But just to have a fucking Patreon, like, hey, somebody help. Hey, man. Anybody out there, a stranger, want to send me some fucking money? Some like, pe- oh, great. Some people are fucking lazy, dude. No, no, no fuck that, dude. <laughs> so if, if you have a, a pay, it, you might as well, you, at the very minimum, you better be put, putting your asshole out there for, like, right. you know, cam, well, here's the thing. cam I don't, boying it I don't or blame something. the people that make those Patreons. Oh, yeah. I blame the people that donate to those pa- exactly. Patreons. No, it's, yeah. a, it's all sick. It's all fucking <laughs> sick, these kids. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear. I, I, they, they just, they're just tra- all trading money on, pay, on Patreon. Yeah. It's the fucking weirdest thing. But anyway, so we're going to start our Patreon here right. but I'm in about a week, guys. <laughs> if you guys would like to support us, and subscribe. If you'd love to support the podcast, we would love to take your money. Yes. If you really want to see Kaya's in his underwear <laughs> on a bare rug, <laughs> give us your money. That, that'll, be the fir- that'll be the first award, uh, reward for, for donations. Will be the your little 4 <laughs> by 6 Yeah. <laughs> yes, if you'd really love to see Kaya's uh, in a, on a bearskin rug naked... Um, we just have to get to a thousand followers on Instagram, <laughs> and we're gonna make that happen. <laughs> we're saying that right now. Thousand, th- thousand followers, guys. Come on, g- give us a little promotion. We, we, we gotta get some kind of hashtag for it, though. Hashtag bearskin kaya's. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's right. No, we have to find like a walrus rug if they make those. I'm oh, there sure you go. Th- yeah, I'm sure they do. Find something like that. Uh, I gotta figure out if we did this. I have to figure out a way to add never actually seeing the photos. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but like, hey, Sergio's like, hey, uh, here's the proofs. That's nah, good. <laughs> good. No, no, no. Just uh, use your best judgment. That's fine. I trust you. No, nah, you gotta look at it. Oh, I trust you. I gotta look at it. You gotta look at it. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes. He's just with his eyes closed, <laughs> <laughs> taking pictures. It's I like think it looks good. It's I think burned it looks in my retinas. It's like that and the ISIS beheading video. I can never <laughs> get rid of. <laughs> Kai is on a fucking Waller skin rug. I think all, I all the pictures are just like different angles. Like you just catch my feet in one thing. Like <laughs> put them oh. together. The Stay cuter down. they are, the more, more disgusting it would be. <laughs> it's like looking at the sun. <laughs> Dude, there might be, oh you God. know, who knows? We'll, we'll, yeah, if we get to 1,000 followers, we'll do that, and then we'll see if, if anyone out there wants to buy prints. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there will be. Get some wallet-sized ones for you. <laughs> Ew. Why? You want wallets? <laughs> you want to yeah. check it out later? <laughs> you want to check it out while you're on the show go? It, show it to people? Yeah. yeah. Just make it your screensaver on your phone? <laughs> like, this is my family. <laughs> Just so every time you're, you get a text message, your coworkers have to see that oh shit? God. <laughs> oh, my God. So uh, what what what's your what's your favorite type of uh what what's your favorite thing to shoot right now like um in terms of I don't know like locales and and stuff like that location based yeah. uh, I've been doing a lot of outdoor it's usually a lot of nature yeah. I like a, doing a lot of outdoor nature like going to the mountains or parks um fuck like lakes and stuff like that with right. models or just to shoot the landscape no i don't really shoot landscape oh yeah, okay. it's just, models. just the models right so why not birds bro get out there in nature <laughs> boring you shoot a few <laughs> extra that's how that's home. that's kind of how i started i would shoot that every once in a while i would go like up here to bali and just fucking shoot the stars and whatnot right. just like some of the nature the the, the, na- the natural light is better yeah it's it's just easier to work with it was just kind of boring for i'm me. afraid yeah. the wonders of space don't sell as well as mm. titties right no? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> True. It does. You're all oh, look at the grandeur. No, my Patreon would <laughs> die. <laughs> all right, look at this chick then. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So did you? I, I think I thought I remember seeing something a little while ago that you did get published in a in a magazine. Yeah, or they, or they did, a, they did magazine. a spot about you or something. Oh, oh, well, I got published in a magazine, and then I got 
and then I did an interview for LA Voyage magazine. Okay. And that was in that one came out in November, I think. November, okay. or December. So and then I got published in January in another magazine uh called Expressions. Okay. What what was what was published in That one was for um for a nude implied. Okay. And I did it uh with the suicide girl called Lala Marcel. And we yeah, we we shot for for the magazine. Nice. So what, I haven't really what, what posted those up. Magazine? Expressions magazine. No, I mean like what it's what is Oh, it's like a it's like a nude implied uh Oh, the like whole magazine. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Well, the whole magazine. I, I didn't I didn't know that they did that, but I did that. Just yeah, it's a lot of like a lot of magazines are it's like, like a, so it's like a soft core like mm, kind of yeah, like like super soft core because it's just Cause it's, it's, it's not just really implied. nothing sexual yeah. Right, yeah. So I mean no, no nipples. nipples. I guess. Right. No, you can see nipples. Oh, okay. you can't like no oh. finger in the butthole. Or anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to take your finger out right, of your so butthole. Like, like, I like that today. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Excuse yeah, me, exactly. Madam, there's a this, uh, this is a professional establishment. <laughs> <laughs> I have a professional photographer. Take that God. finger out of your ass, ma'am. How dare you? It's not that kind. That is not what we do here. <laughs> I'm artistic. <laughs> what is wrong with you? So yeah, oh, what about uh, like vintage fucking cameras? You ever uh, fuck around? I with haven't some old messed shit? with any. No, no. want to get some like Polaroid ones. Like I've been, I just got like a little, little Polaroid, but like the newer style. And so I've been doing a lot of those too now. Yeah, that's, that shooting. seems to be pretty big with with a lot of yeah, and right the, like now. with selling them too. Like a lot of girls right. do that with their yeah. patrons too. Now sign it, yeah, no. sign like them, right. like that's brilliant because they're one offs too. So it's like right, you're never exactly. gonna get that. Yeah. No one else is gonna have that. Yeah, yeah. my my niece just got one, uh, like a something, a Polaroid camera for oh, like her for birthday. I thought she got like photos from some. No, <laughs> fuck, no. I was like, damn, from I was like, no, she, she's like cool. eleven. No, but she got a Polaroid she was all running around with. And I was like, oh, look at that. It's coming back. All right. C- cassette tape's coming back. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Final. weird, dude. I've been seeing that a lot lately. Bands putting shit back out on cassette. Yep. Mm-hmm. I saw that when I, when I saw Iron and Wine uh, a little while ago. He had uh, cassettes. And they were five bucks. And I was like, fuck. I was like, I should buy one. But then I'm like, what the fuck five am I going to do with this? Walkman. Like, what am I going to do with Yeah, you have to go find an old uh, Walkman. Yeah. I don't have a tape deck anywhere. Fuck no. Should so so yes or no? Should the slow forward be putting out uh, cassette tapes? Uh, no, not. is it not worth it? I don't even know if we should make CDs, man. All these fucking computers don't even come with the drives anymore. Yeah, and they're sure. pulling them out of cars for the most part. All yeah. the newer models. So like, I don't even know how much longer CDs are going to be around. Yeah. How do people fucking shell shit? Just do, uh, do, download do, cards do or vinyls, dude? Yeah, vinyls are, but they're pretty expensive to manufacture. Yeah. To be honest with you. Well, dude, it's it's all streaming now, bro. Yeah. So, dude, yeah. yeah, I know. So what? Yeah, what? Like at a show, what? A, what am I supposed to actually sell you? Vinyl. Go to this make, website. Make, make a redeemed. limited <laughs> limited run of vinyls. You give them the redeem scan code. They buy yeah. The code. yeah. I was thinking the USBs. CD? Put the album yeah, on the USB. Yeah. And, right. and that's I don't know how much those go, but. We're almost yeah. fucking there, man. For sure, cheaper than CDs, I bet. Yeah, you've been saying that for like two fucking. No, actually, I mean, <laughs> actually, uh, on the twenty fourth in the morning where is our final mixing session. No. And then, uh, but then master. we need the money to mu- to, to right. master it. But I, I'm hoping Jay will just do it. <laughs> just kidding, Jay. <laughs> Fuck. I hope he doesn't hear that. <laughs> Edit this out. <laughs> <coughs> what well, uh, w- have you have you had like a. Like just a total like disastrous like day like on on a shoot or something like mm. just everything. We were like, wrong. take that finger out of your butthole. And she's right. like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> listen, listen. Nothing that bad. Just um, it's not really with the models. Just may- maybe like with my equipment. Like fucking on um, one shoot, I showed up. I set up my my light and everything. Mm. I put my softbox on it. When I was walking with it, fucking, I don't know, I like leaned it forward or something, and the bulb fell out, fell out oh. of my strobe, <laughs> and but I had my softbox on it, right? But it was fucking open on the bottom of it, oh, and it no. slipped through and fucking broke. Oh, it was like right when I was walking into the studio. Oh. I was like, fucking really? Like, how much? How much something so, like that cost? Like a hundred bucks. Oh. <laughs> Glad for Amazon Prime though. Like, right. Came back like the next day. I was like, I can't, I can't go without my show. Right. I bring nothing everywhere. God, I. How much do you love Amazon? 
Fuck, love it, but dude. Dude, they're taking over everything. They're getting into that's real where, estate. That's, that's I think that's all I shop really. Like I'll look. Every, th- that's the first place I go to, like to look for whatever I'm looking oh, yeah. for. Yeah, oh, absolutely. We should all just you know s- just start working for Amazon now. Just get a job with Amazon now because it's no, all there's gonna be. They, no, they treat you terribly. <laughs> Haven't you heard <laughs> any of the countless fucking claims? I will be our their Amazon. Never their employee. Our Amazon overlords. <laughs> Soon they will own everything. You better butter up now, guys. All right? You better be like, hey, Bezos, let me give you a little kiss on the noggin. Dude, I use Amazon so frequently. He's taken so much of my money. <laughs> Where do you think everything you're looking at come, came from? It came from Amazon. Th- th- thanks to Kelsey. She she purchased all this crap for me on, on Amazon. Who has more of your money, Jeff Bezos or the guy that owns Philip Morris? Oh... Well, Philip Morris has been around for a lot longer. Well, no, he's saying my money. Yeah, yeah, but of your money. But how long? How long? Oh, yeah, no, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. How long has Amazon? Well, I mean, I've made a lot of money yeah, on Amazon. True. I don't know what he's buying. No, nah, no, definitely Philip Morris. Mm-hmm. I, spent, I spent a lot more money on cigarettes over the course of what, how long? 20, 20 plus years that I was smoking. Yeah. So I was. I've been meaning to ask you about it. So, um, how noticeable is the monetary uh, savings? Oh, uh, it's it's pretty pretty noticeable. Um, I mean, you're like, oh, I have I still have money. That's weird. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. Like I have, um, you know, I actually have money in a savings account. Right. <laughs> I actually I haven't had a savings account in fucking God knows how long. But there's money in there and I have not touched it. Oh. But yeah, and then just on a week to week basis, it's like, dude, yeah, no, I have a significant amount of money left over. What's the hardest part of the day? To, are you just are you just not thinking about it at all anymore? No, no, not really. I mean, never get I'm a little uh, <sighs> uh, I do sometimes if if a lot of people are smoking and uh. you know, like I've I've gotten a lot of just like where I found myself looking at the cigarette uh, just looking at it and being like, enticed. I'll just I'll just take one drag, <laughs> and then I'm like, you know, no, no. So do you no, vape at all? Or? Nope. Yeah, no, that's I, just, <laughs> no, I just I, I was a shame, man. Slowly. No, I'm just no, it was, it was, uh, I just cold tur- cold turkey. No, but uh, like uh, I for yeah, me, I, I would just, think like uh like the first part of the day because I'm very used. To, it was part of my routine. Yeah, like a cup of coffee and a cigarette. <laughs> like when I get up. Well, not even that because I actually. Uh, what it started was that usually that was the first thing, first thing in the morning, you know, get up, have a cigarette, you know, like on my days off or whatever, smoke a bowl, have have a smoke. And then I started what I was doing was I noticed like I wouldn't have my first cigarette of the day until at least like a few hours into the day, especially at work. Like right. I wouldn't smoke on my way to work. I wouldn't smoke until, you know, at least three, four hours into my shift. And then I would have because that's like my first real break. Mm. And then I'd smoke a cigarette. You know, and then I, you know, that that was kind of the start of it. And then I don't know, like so just on New Year's, I was just like, "Fuck it, I'm done. I'm done with this shit." That's pretty good, man. So no, no fucking patches, no gum, no, no. nothing. Cold turkey, man. That was this New Year's. What's that? This New Year's. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I just so it's been, uh, you know, two two full months going nice. on, working on three now. Yeah, you I don't mean, have like anything for your like the oral fixation or anything, you know, like chewing on pens or something. Uh, or? Well, I always did that. I was always a toothpick or so, while I wasn't smoking, you know, I was always toothpick. But then I when I when I first quit, it was I replaced it with food. I, I gained I gained like probably like eight to ten pounds after because it was I'd be sitting in my room watching TV and just, you know, like uh, snacks, something? chips, <coughs> nuts, you know, freaking just. Cause then I was I, w- I was smoking a lot more weed too, like I, sm- I you know oh, okay. smoke that, a lot of weed. Yeah, that does make you hungrier. Yeah, and then so the combination of the two yeah. that was just I <laughs> knew that was gonna happen. You know, but now I'm I'm at the point now where it's like, even if like because th- my biggest thing was like stress. So right. So if I get stressed sure. out, then cigarette for sure. And my biggest test came, uh, maybe th- three four days after I quit. I was ch- um, doing the brakes on Sunshine's car, my uh, my friend's daughter, and um, the the one of the lug nuts on the first tire I was changing was stripped, so I couldn't get it off. So I'm like, fuck. "Fuck, okay." And I call AutoZone. I'm like, "Hey, do you guys have like a thing where I can strip this this nut or whatever?" And he's like, "Yeah, come get it, whatever. Go and buy it. Come back, get it, get the lug off." realize that the lug is now stuck in the little tool. 
right? So I'm like, okay, shit, right? And I'm doing everything to try and freaking get it off, whatever. And so I'm stressing out, like, just so furious. And uh, Melissa, she's sitting there. She's, she's sitting there she's, chain she's, smoking, yeah, she's chain watching smoking, you like, you know? oh, like, my, uh, that looks uh, very like, difficult. Oh, my God, dude. I'll like, have some more of this nicotine. <laughs> But that, that was probably the biggest, the closest I got to just being like, all right, I'm going to fucking have one. But mm. I, yeah, Good I'm for you, man. Very proud of you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I hope me and Matt don't uh, bother you when, when we when we smoke. No. We'll do whatever you guys want. I mean, how long it, it, it'll... Because I've heard that after you quit, they start to become uh, more atrocious smelling to yeah, you. No, it's... It doesn't bother me, but I can I can smell it from a fucking mile away though now. Like, yeah, when you smoke, you don't really realize how much you personally radiate cigarette. Oh yeah, right. Because <laughs> you just smell it all the time, so you don't really understand. Nope. But like like you know, I've gotten in people's cars and they're like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> <laughs> like how many cigars did you smoke at once before you got in the car? I'm like, oh yeah, this is, I haven't washed this jacket in a while. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Sorry about that. I try to be cognizant and like wash my face and hands before I uh, yeah. get in close quarters with people. Yeah. But so yeah. Uh, yeah, then you were telling me uh, shortly before we started that you're working for a blueprint company right now. Yeah. What, what, yeah. what, what, what do you do there? What is, uh, I that? manage the the company right there where we're at in Orange County. Okay. And I've been there for like fuck, it's gonna be twelve years this August. Oh shit. Or no, this May. I mean. Oh damn. Yeah. So I've been there for a while, just like. Fucking what are they just they, as a blueprint? What do they just make blueprints? <coughs> we uh, print blueprints. We uh, oh, okay. documents. Printing. We uh, do like a lot of computer work, a lot of data entry and stuff like that. Right. Pl- placing orders, uh, delivering the plans. Saving, what what saving what type of what type of prints? Like just for, for all construction. commercial commercial all construction. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we work for so some you can big read companies. a blueprint. Read a blueprint or two. A little bit that be, it, but that's not mainly what we do. We're right. mainly. Uh, just, like just printing, printing them, yeah. Okay. But I can you probably read see some of the stuff. Yeah, it's <laughs> like the construction people; they know how to read the blueprints. Oh yeah, right. So what you're saying is, if we need a blueprint for like a bank, you might you have it. You might have somewhere it. Have on a file. <laughs> for or say, slip me a Jackson house, or so. Perhaps? What? Oh yeah, who am I? <laughs> well, we could get it. You know, yeah. you a blueprint to my house. Uh, that's pretty easy. I could draw you that. You know, you've been in my house. Why do you need a fucking blueprint? You know where everything <laughs> you can is. You dry it out. Yeah, right. so you want to steal my TV, guys? Is that what you want? No. Yeah, I don't know why you would. It's not very big. No, it's not. I think that's bigger. Well, then don't steal my TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to have a second one, though. Yeah, exactly. You know, in case two people want to watch different things. Just set it right at your feet at the edge of the bed. <laughs> no, it's, it's like you're at the bar. Right. You watch two different <laughs> things. <laughs> Oh just yeah. put them on different walls. Yeah. Mount them mount one over here, one over there. I have a couple of games on. Yep. The same game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just from a different angle. Yeah, yeah there you go. go. A different channel. No, yeah, it's the other team's feed. Just yeah, there you, go, there you go. <laughs> just in case you're a fan of the other team, we got it up. We got it up twice in Kai's sports bar. <laughs> we should, you know what? We should add. We should add like a like a kegerator out here for guests. Maybe brew our own ham beer. There you go. Ooh, like no? From ham or like, <laughs> like, fla- like ham know. flavored beer? Oh, I don't know if that. <laughs> if you did, it would have to have like a, a real maple. Uh, yeah. You're going to have a beer a and a sandwich. Yeah. yeah. Your ham sandwich. I'm sure there's bacon beer. Oh, there right? is. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. Um, that's the, I think Voodoo. That, yeah, that Voodoo donut mm-hmm. one. Yeah. Okay. It's all right. So you're thinking more of like the taste of a uh, like an Easter ham. Yeah, like a you know honey baked ham, like a know, honey like the, bu- yeah. the pineapples and the you know, you know, yeah. put yeah. some pineapple and cherries on it with some cloves. Okay, yeah, we'll some get some ham bro- flowing. brothers yeah. beer. <laughs> okay, yeah, we should we should make our own yeah. ham bros brew. Yeah, why not? You know. I see it's already rolling off the tongue. We'll put that on the Patreon as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yep. want to su- wanna support the the brewing company, Ham Brothers Brewing Company? Yeah, it should be like it should be like uh, it's like how much you s- based off how much you spend, right? Like it's like Oh, if uh, if you give us a hundred bucks, we'll send you a case of this uh, ham beer, and a thousand bucks, we'll send you these tasteful prints <laughs> of Kai's <laughs> and a few and some Kai's alcohol butthole. for sure. <laughs> that's that no, that's just in the fine print. Every purchase comes with. 
know. It was the first thing you opened in the package. Yeah, what the got, fuck? <laughs> no way, man. We can't give away the fucking sizzle, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know. Well, we'll have to see how the first run goes. <laughs> then we'll see. <laughs> Would you shave? Would you shave your <laughs> shoulders, guys, for that? Or no, you want, you want, want the audience yeah, to have the full no, effect. Come on, man! Kai's in all of his glory, it's unaltered, bro. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, are you have you manscaped, or are, are, are you like a '70s bushing it right now, <laughs> bro? Right now, I'm all right, but if we're talking photos, I mean, I'll stop oh, you'll, escaping. You know, oh, okay. <laughs> you'll you'll call him off. No one, yeah. Ron Jeremy. That no, thanks, yeah. guys. We got it covered. We'll just have just the the, the tidy whities and then just oh, seven so minutes. gross. <laughs> so it's Jesus. so disgusting. Your your beard hair is kind of like a blondish too, right? Oh no, every, everything like else is a little darker. A little bit darker. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Now, hey I man, know you're every, the one that keeps the audience, it up. Dude. I know the audience okay. is imagining it because I am right now. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, hopefully you're one of the few people listening to this that's never seen Kaya, so you don't, <laughs> you don't, you didn't get that mental image right now. Uh, but if you have it, we'll throw the picture up. Right. Yeah, definitely. Uh, oh, there's there's pictures on our website actually. Yeah, you got video too. You yeah, about that's that. right. Soon, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah, we're 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 still getting it all together. We're gonna have uh, a nice, a nicely shot video for YouTube. Yep. One of these damn days. Hopefully. Hopefully yeah. Hopefully this week. We'll, we'll see. All right, uh, so Sergio, do you have anything that you would like to plug? Any uh, any websites? Any Instagram uh, handles? If you're hot, want to give Fogan <laughs> some hot <laughs> photography, right? Hit up our boy. How get, where, what's your uh, your social media? Um, you can find me on IG. It's under Serge Iview. It's S E R J E Y E V I E W. All right, all right. Nice. Hit him up. Fuck yeah. Get that. Hit me Let up. Him take some pictures. We'll work of something out. I work with people's budgets too. Yeah, so. yeah. It's very friendly. Just let me know. Yes. Yeah. And then uh, also, uh, if you haven't already, please visit our website, HantonBrothersPodcast.com. You can find links to all of our social media pages. Our soon-to-be YouTube page is up there right now. You can um, you can already subscribe to it if yes. you just search uh, search the old YouTube for just make sure you find the right podcast. One. Right. And also, um, we are on officially on Spotify Woo. as oh, well nice. as Google nice. Play and iTunes. Where everyone things up and running except for the archived episodes. All archived episodes can be found on the website. So with Spotify and iTunes, you just got to type in our names and then yep. it comes up. That's right. Got we are stepping it up, That's baby. right. Ham Brothers Podcast, and it'll pop right up. Goddamn right. Well, nice. thank you very much for being yeah, here. Thanks, for, thanks for having me, guys. Appreciate it, dude. All right. We'll see you next week. Indeed. Bye.